All right, so right now I know that there's a bunch of things that we can do. So there's still dinosaur bones, cigarette cards, litter, and fish. We can find a few of the, these gang things. We just did this social call with Mr. Fire. We're going to find a harmonica, necklace, and a pocket mirror. So I know where the mirror is right now. I'm also going to search. I already did this one. I already, I already finished. Uh, you good, girl? What the devil are you looking at? I'm sorry? No, I'm sorry. I'm ruined. Ruined! How so? It's a disaster. Who wants to see a woman wrangle wild animals who doesn't have any bloody wild animals? Come to America, they said. Come to the land of opportunity, they said. Sod you, Daddy, I said. I'm going to America to make it on the stage. I don't want to be in the army. Ooh. Now look at me. The old git will have a field day. I didn't really understand any of that. I had an act. The bravest woman in the world. The animal wrangler. Watch her tame wild beasts. And you were the woman. Of course I was the bloody woman. Look at me. It's the stage. Grease paint. Tears. No one wants to see a man wrangling wild animals. And no one wants to see a woman wrangling nothing. Can I borrow your gun? I want to shoot myself. You see, I'm buggered. What? My animals. They escaped. And now I'm... I'm buggered. What escaped? A priceless Ranjaniki tiger from the slopes of the Hindu Heights. A fantastic, elusive zebra from the plains of Ongo Bongo by the shores of the Limpopo. And a magnificent lion from the grasslands of Tanganyiki. Yeah, I see your problem. They're pretty hard to come by around here. Listen, friend. Help a fellow out, would you? I'm beyond desperate. If you see any of them, will you bring them back here? If I see a tiger or a lion or a zebra just roaming around. Exactly. If, well, I believe the zebra's up near Lonard Sod, distinctive creature that he is. I'll make it worth your while. All right, madam. It's bloody Margaret, not madam. Margaret, mistress of fucking danger. All right, yeah, we'll find that too. So y'all know we're just gonna be searching around doing a lot of shit today. So at the moment, I know where I'm gonna be looking for both Sadie's harmonica and Molly's mirror. So when it comes to Tilly's uh, necklace, we're gonna have to search a little while to get that. So right now, we're gonna go and find that harmonica and the mirror for Sadie and Molly. Yeah. What is this over here? Holy shark, dude. Dude. They don't I don't like it when they remove the sound. Dude. Light on. Yeah, that confuses me. Oh, 
that a freaking child's book? Like, I just found this random building. I could give this pen to someone. See if I can climb up on that. Ah, uh, nah, it doesn't let me. I don't know why, I thought that that would be an important landmark or something, but it wasn't. Let's just keep riding. I just found this snake's place. I don't want to inspect it. All I do is keep finding new places, man. Let's take the coffee. That looks covered. Take that lockbox. Dude, they can say we can sleep in the bed, what? Dude, this is a... This is an interesting thing that we're doing today. We're just finding places for money. But it looks like we got everything that I truly have did, except the fact that there's more stuff. Alright, nope. Not that. Let me search this cabinet. to share it with me. Thanks. You trust me then? Guess so. Sometimes we must trust each other, even when we don't know each other, or else we walk this life alone. For all I know, you're a thief and a killer, but I rely on my instincts to tell me otherwise. Oh yeah? Yes, I see in your eyes that you're not a bad man. Like I was riding through the heartlands the other day, and cut through someone's land. Looked like an old pig farm. When a couple called me over from the house. Very nice man and woman. Very friendly. You would think this is fine, you know? And they keep saying that a traveler like me deserves some rest and refreshment, inviting me to stay for dinner. I was tired and I was hungry, but mi corazonada, the feeling in my gut said no. I don't know why, but I trusted it. Then the very next day, a man warns me to stay away from that place. So I live by my instincts. I'm also real fast with a gun, which helps me when the instincts fail me. Well, I've sat long enough. You rest here as long as you need.
Okay then. Oh shit, we back at this fucking guy's place? I'm just gonna sneak in and just fucking steal that shit. In the back. Like, let me just hope that he doesn't notice. I'm not trying to fucking beat his ass. I mean, I will if I have to, but like... Oh shit. Fucking rattlesnake in there.
All right, there's nothing else that I think I should be taking down here. I don't even think I can climb up there, even though I so bad I want to. Oh, shit. Yes. Yes, I can. Dude, that's sick. There's nothing up here, though. No. You ain't got no to be here, so get. Okay, okay. Keep your hair on. Keep on moving and don't come back. Calm down. Dude, I really just want to aim up my gun at him. He's disrespecting me. You made it. <laughs> Fucking aimed his gun at me, man. What do you expect me to do? Real quick. Motherfucker, you better deserve this. Alright, let's find this missing zebra. I spotted it in this area. Better not rub off on my pants. Whoa, boy. Yep. Zebra's a fucking mule. It looks so funny. You're okay, boy. That's funny as shit, bro. Oh. Easy, easy. I'm so bad for it, not gonna lie. It's such a poor little mule. Good boy. Uh. All you hear is this freaking vehicle sound. Oh. I'm riding a mule. <laughs> Dude, not gonna lie, I wanna find the KKK location in this game right now. Cause like, there's a KKK meeting, and it's either you go in gun blazing and they kill your ass, or you wait and they just light, they end up lighting something on fire and it kills all of them. Yeah. Like it's legit so funny when I saw it. can call him that. <laughs> Although he's as much a zebra as you are a lady animal wrangler. Oh dear, you're missing the point, aren't you? It's an illusion. A trick of the eye to bamboozle the senses. Confound comprehension. Hoodwink your audience? Hoodwink? Our audiences? <laughs> dear boy, don't be so dreadfully literal. No one will pay for the truth. They only pay for deception. <laughs> the allure of the stage. Dreams and reality! Ah. What is the greater conjuring trick? Lassoing some poor beast on the plains of Mumbo Jumbo Land and shipping it here so it can dance the polka? Or turning there in the glare of those arc lamps, something mundane into something extraordinary? It's the difference between prose and poetry, it's alchemy. We're selling dreams, dear boy! Well, as long as... <laughs> as long as you don't pay me with tickets to your show. Ah, uh, yes. Well, it's not everyone's cup of tea. And speaking of my payment... Of course, of course. I shall make it worth your while. 
But, um, first, we shall need the whole menagerie back before we can think about that. My assistant's gone for the tiger. Tiger? Yes, yes. And taken our remaining lion in case it could lend a paw. They're down there on Caligar Way. Please, I hate to ask. All right, I'll see what I can do. Hey, mister. Oh. Miss. Howdy, mister. Did, um, did you lose a tiger? Yeah, you found one? <clears throat> no, I found your caravan down the way. Uh, Margaret said that you might need a hand. Oh, he weren't wrong. That tiger's missing. I sent our best lion out to find him, and uh, now he's missing too. It is a right old predicament. Your lion from uh, Timbuktu, weren't it? Oh, from Valentine, I think. He might be more of a kind of dog than a lion, but in a certain light, a feller could never tell. Of course. Which way'd he go? Into them shrubs over there. Okay. Why don't you hop up on the wagon and I'll see if I can find his track. Okay. That first set of shrubs, that's where I lost sight of him. I got... Got the trail. These are paw prints. Let me bring the wagon along. Very likely. You paint this dog? There's some pigment here. Looks like black like blood to me. Shit. Oh no. What's this? Oh, darn. Found your dog. Next dog, X line. Hey, boy. Oh, where's the rest of them? I think a cougar took him. Oh, that'd be stripey. And I always thought they got along. Your tiger is a wild cat? Uh huh. What else? You still need it back? Oh, yes, sir. She's our star attraction. Well, let's hope it wants the other half of its dinner. The other half? Really? I'm going to put them in your wagon. You find somewhere to hide. Oh. Well, behind that log then. Okay. Grubs <clears throat> up. Stay down. She won't be too far away. Come quick. I went out to find a tiger. Cougar, you mean? And I end up losing a lion. Yeah, dog. Ain't having any luck. Well, if that's what you're dealing with, you didn't have any luck to begin with. <laughs> Cougars and dogs. Hey, it ain't what you got in this life. It's what you make of it. Well, that's very wise of you. Especially when you're lacking zebras and tigers. Hey, keep your head down. It's coming. Look, I really don't think she'll eat the dog. Like I said, they was friends. Just shut it. Wow. Oh, well, I guess she's real hungry. She's feral. I'm locking her in. Sorry, girl. All right, let's go. We got her. Okay, drive, will you? And I'll keep an eye on her. Sure thing. Let's get her back to Mr. Margaret. She's still eating. I would have thought, since they was close and all. 
Well, wild creatures turn on each other. Seeming friendly one minute, dinner the next. This is this comes easy. I mean, I should know. I've run with a few of them myself. Is that right? No, not really. Hey, uh, I realize I ain't properly introduced myself. Sally Nash. Arthur Morgan. Nice to meet you, sir. Tell me, Miss Nash, how you end up in this racket? I, I guess it's always been my inclination, you know? Wild beasts and the like. I met Mr. Margaret, we got to talking, and... You can probably tell, in this field, he's the ace of spades. He's a card, all right. It's my modest hope, one day, to be the world's second bravest woman animal wrangler. I'd say you got that sewn up and then some. You think? I hope so. Top five, at least. It depends on how many more fellers throw their hat in the ring. Maybe one of these days, the best female for the job will actually be a female. Oh, I don't know if that'll ever happen. Storm is waited out. Mr. Margaret's a lot of things, but best female navigator ain't one of them. I uh, imagine you're right about that. We was tearing around here, looking for any kind of landmark when over we go. Whole caravan toppled. Found each other and some shelter, but when the wind died down, the animals was gone. But well, now they're back. Some of them at least. Thanks to you. Oh, uh, you would have managed it yourself. I just helped you along. If you ever want to get in the sideshow business, I'm sure there'd be a place for a fellow like you. I'll leave the professional theatrics to better women than me. There it is, the caravan. Couldn't miss him if you wanted to. Mr. Margaret! Aha! I see you found each other. Sure did, Mr. Margaret. Jolly good, jolly good. You know, tarn and feathering a donkey is one thing. I beg your pardon? It's grease paint. Makeup. But playing dolls dressed up with a wild animal, you're gonna wanna be a lot more careful. Strappy eight king, Mr. Margaret. I saw her do it. I always thought they got along. Oh, she liked him just fine. She licked her chops and asked for seconds. Hey, speaking of which, you got any more word on that uh, runaway lion, or are you gonna pay me for these misfits? Look. I'm well aware that we're not Royal Command performance material. Daddy, you were right, goddamn you! But a cow barn in Rhodes is hardly Drury Bloody Lane. You got any word on the lion? Yes, yes, I've got word on the lion. Shit is the word. Someone saw him near Emerald Ranch. As you know, we're lately very short on lions. So, I'd be very grateful. All kinds of grateful. There's only one kind of grateful I care about. So long, mister. Be a dear and fix me a gin. <sighs> All right. A chance to do the last mission for this British guy. Let's do it, bro. Let's just do it. Yay, yo, Emerald Ridge. Been a while since we've been here. Claws? That's enough for me. 
What's the ruckus, boys? Get back! We got a cursed creature in here! Oh, yeah? It's as big as a mule and as mean as a hellcat. <laughs> it looked like a lion to me. That's a dog in there. A dog? Now, you excuse me. Step aside. What? I said step aside. Arthur! No! <laughs> Shit! You got fucking cut up by a fucking lion! Oh my god, bro, that was a real lion! <laughs> That is so beautiful, man. You got it. He shot the thing. Is it dead? I pray that thing's a goner. Dude, I'm fucking mad. I don't like killing a lion. Lions are fucking beautiful, bro. Dude, I'll fucking kill humans before I kill a lion. Go on, get going. Oh, come on. Just like, is there a way for me to like get more from the lion? I've never seen one of those before, and I hope I don't again. Amen to that. See what the British guy's gonna say. Odysseus returns. Sally, get the cages ready. Yes, sir, Mr. Market, right away. A man eating lion. You didn't think that it might be useful for me to know that this time the animal was actually real, you moron. Steady on. I clearly stated that we were looking you for- You haven't clearly stated anything in all the time I've known you. That could have been a goose for all I knew. A goose? We'll hardly get them to their feet for the curtain call. Bring on the king of the beasts, on the other hand, and they feel the roar. And they, well, look about as surprised as you do. 
What have you done with him, if you don't mind me asking? I killed him. He's dead. Bloody hell! This is Ramo, boy. Well, it was him or me. Now, pay me. Yes, of course, of course. I have just the thing. And what a treasure it is! You're a lucky man, sir. Very lucky man. From the mines of El Dorado, as green as the rainforest, as clear as the Amazon, and as dear as all the gold in the Andes, one man's labor is but a trifle compared to this jewel's true value. Wait! I shouldn't. What would Daddy say? Your Daddy ain't here, and we had a deal. Yes, of course. A promise is a promise. Sally, get the wagons moving. Ain't we waiting for the line? He's in the great hunting ground in the sky. Good day, sir, and thank you. But we really must be getting along. Yeah, I won't keep you. So long. So long, Mr. Morgan. Next time you see me, I'll be topping the bill, I promise. Or at least I'll be on the bill. Oh, that was actually a pretty solid mission. I hope you all fucking enjoyed that. Ridiculous.